When was the last time you seen Tim Duck? Tim, uh, I haven't seen Tim in a while. I haven't seen Tim in a while. Um, you were, what, what was the, your reaction when Tim Duck dropped for Compton? No, when I was with Tim, when he did fuck Compton, he said he was gonna do fuck Compton, and then um, he even said everybody was like, "Why, why you want this them?" So he was just saying, "I want to do a publicity racket, something drastic." So then he made fuck Compton, and he put it out with Colombian, and we was like, "Well, that's you, Tim." But the record had got such a big response, and it was like, you know, he just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go at the West Coast." You know, we didn't have nothing to do with it. You know, we just set the production and stuff. But um, when the record came out, it was just that that's what he was on at that time. But he had, his whole image wasn't dissing company. I think he did the song just to try to stir up some controversy with, her, with himself, with, like with Dr. Dre and all that stuff. All the gang stuff was for stupid people. Like, you know what? You know, he was just thinking, like, he had an overall picture in, in, in that lifestyle when he made that song, you know, even though it was like his way of starting a, a controversial song. I mean, he dissed uh, Dr. Dre and Easy e on the song. Yeah. Well, he dissed them back, too. I mean, I heard songs they made and stuff like that, you know. But I think the guys took it more like, you know, more uncompetitive because I think a lot of people in L.A. is still thinking about that song more. Like, some disses, you know, you can have a, a, a beef with different rappers, you know, and they might have their, they might be, they might be more diffused, whereas that just left a big stain for a while. Because you can see certain rappers in L.A. sometimes, they still feel uncomfortable about that song after, this, after that much time had passed.